Welcome into BLTV Channel 6. I'm Brian Kell. We've reached out to many candidates in some races throughout our service territory area uh, that are contested, and we have one of those candidates here with us right now. Uh, trying to seek one of three slots with the McMinnville City Board. There are six candidates. We've got one of those six with us. It's Dietra Dunlap. Dietra, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, tell us here. a little bit about you. Well, I was raised here in Warren County. I attended public schools. Graduated from Warren County High School. That's where I met my husband, Joe. It would have been a lot easier for Joe had we moved to Atlanta or Nashville or something like that near an airport, but we chose to stay here because we love McMinnville so much and wanted to raise our kids here. Mm -hmm. So I'm a daughter, wife, mother, grandmother, yeah. and Joe and I are blessed to have four generations of our family living here in McMinnville. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Um, what are people telling you are the most important things that they want to see happen in the city of McMinnville? Well, I was think, trying to think of just the top things I'm hearing. Um, paving, sidewalks, infrastructure, and infrastructure is such a broad topic. Uh, specifically, I think stormwater, people are, are really talking a lot about that. Um, right now, getting a new police station or an updated police station and a new fire truck is at the top of the list, I think. Yeah. Um, you've mentioned infrastructure, and that seems to be a topic that, that's always kind of uh, an important subject. Uh, what specifically, in your mind, needs to be accomplished over the next four years in that area, in those areas, I guess? Well, I think just continuation of the current plans that they have with the paving that they're doing now, uh, sidewalks that they're working on now, uh, and infrastructure that I know really gets lots of, um, you know, a lot of thought, a lot of study. I know that's a pressing issue, uh, and they have uh, plans to tackle that, the current folks that I've spoken with. So continuation of what we're working on now, um, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, McMinnville's been fortunate to see growth in tourism, um, it, which helps in obviously growing revenues. Do you have any plans or, or thoughts on tourism uh, that, that you feel are, are helpful in, in, in that area? Yes, I have heard of a few um, ideas that I thought were really exciting. A canoe kayak shoot um, at the dam at Pepper Branch Park, I think that would be exciting and a good draw. Also, an amphitheater there in that same area on the hill, I think would be great. Um, and as the nursery capital of the world, I think that we need to try to showcase our trees and shrubs and plants and flowers um, on our bypass and just high traffic areas into and out of our city. I think that would be a, a nice thing to do as far as tourism is concerned. Mm -hmm. Um, the homeless issue, it's been a topic that's been very much talked about in, in, in Warren County and McMinnville, you know, over the past, uh, well, really in 2022. Any thoughts on how that could be tackled in a better way? Well, the homeless issue is one that, I mean, it absolutely tears my heart out. Um, but I've, I've had to realize that it's not something that's just exclusive to McMinnville. It's a growing problem everywhere. Um, understand from talking to um, some of the current board members uh, that there's a federal grant we can apply for in the spring that would provide funding to help the police department address homelessness and all the problems that are associated with homelessness. It's a PATH grant and it would help the they, the PATH grant would help form a homeless outreach team which would provide mental health treatment drug and alcohol treatment, case management, and other services uh, that sometimes go along with, you know, the needs of the homeless. Mm -hmm. um, are you a no new taxes, uh, no matter what person, or, uh, or does it depend on the situation that the city can find itself in? Maybe you just talk about taxes and your thoughts on that. Well, um, of course, I would prefer to keep taxes at their current rate. Um, as a citizen myself, it's nice to, to have not had a tax increase in 12 years. I think that's amazing. Um, my husband was joking. He said, um, eventually, one of you, one set of aldermen are going to get elected and it's going to be time for, yeah. it's eventually going to happen. Um, but a tax increase, I think, should always be the last resort. 
and I don't think that it's something that that we would see in our in our near future a tax increase. I think the city looks good financially. Good deal. Um, working with others of uh, of different mindsets is, is is important, or in some way I'd say very important in local politics. Uh, do you have examples of of working with people of different perspectives, or if not, how would you plan to do that if you feel that that's important? I had a great experience in this regard. I worked um, for several years at Boyd Christian School in various roles. And as guidance counselor, I worked with students, their families, often therapists and physicians. I worked with their teachers, the administration, the board members. I worked for nine administrators while I was there. So just a variety of personalities, age groups, uh, backgrounds. Um, and I, I learned a lot about conflict resolution. I think I, the one thing that I've learned the most from that is just in communication is how to be a good listener. That has served me well. Mm -hmm. um, preliminary reports have shown the Morford Street phase of downtown McMinnville revitalization would cost a little over $15 million. And the story that the Southern Standard had, I think it had Mr. Nolan Ming saying, you know, quote, mostly funded through grants, unquote. You know, are you for pushing forward with this project or not, and why? I am a proponent of that project with the mostly funded through grants. Right. Um, I think grants are a wonderful thing and we should access any grants we ever have, you know, the ability to get our hands on money that's going to go to someone and it should be us if possible. Um, I see a lot of good to that project, but I think the, the $15 million price tag on it just scares people. Um, they think, oh no, we're about to have to spend $15 million mm -hmm. on something that we don't. If, and I think knowing it will take knowing the, the numbers. How much help are we actually going to get through grants before I would be able to, to vote yes or no on that. But I do think it's a great idea if we can get help from grants. Yeah. Um, Dietrich Dunlap, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's kind of as we wrap up here, we've got several minutes here. If you'd like to take this opportunity to be able to talk to the person that's out there watching as to why you feel that you are uh, one of three people that should fill those slots with the uh, McMinnville Board of City and Aldermen. I love McMinnville. I love the people here. I'm fortunate to have my mom retiring here. My husband and I are able to raise our family here. My children have moved back. I have a grandchild. I want this to be a place for all of us to live and call home. Um, I don't know. I think I'm honest and fair. I know lots of folks around town through different uh, roles that I've played and jobs that I've had. I, I will always put the needs of the residents of Warren County first and I will put needs before wants. I think I would treat this job like I would treat running my household based on our budget. Um, you know, if, if, if our budget is good, which it is now, just assessing each project as it comes to us, you know. Is this something we can afford? Is this something we all vote on? And um, I just really would like to give back to a community that has given a lot to me and my family. Well, Dietrich Dunlap, candidate for City of Alderman, uh, McMinnville City Alderman. Uh, there are three slots available. She's one of six candidates. Thank you for joining us during thank this time. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. All right. We thank you for joining us, too, here on BLTV Channel 6. A reminder that Tuesday, November 8th, starting at 7 o'clock, we will have coverage, multi-county coverage, of elections going on. Uh, and you can join us uh, not only on Channel 6, but also uh, 306 and HD on BLTV and also on our Ben Loman Connect YouTube channel. Be sure and go on there, subscribe to that. That way you get alerts when we have new content and in this case, a live uh, broadcast that will be going on that. So we want to invite you to that. Thank you for joining us during this time and we hope to catch you soon right here on BLTV Channel 6.